Hey, Shugs. Yes, you. Did you watch our last episode? Don't forget to watch after this. Dallas and he's 15 months. Hi, my name is Tiana. I have one daughter. Her name is Eden and she's two years old. So, did you always want to be a mother? Yes, I've always wanted to be a mother. Yeah, from young. Like, you know how younger, when you're younger, they start you with baby dolls and the strollers. And I always wanted to be a big sister. And I never got, my mama ended up not having another child. So, I always aspired to be a mother and I always wanted to foster kids. I had worked with kids for four years as a counselor and I had a class of 17 students. I love children and so I really wanted my own. So yeah, I've always wanted to be a mom. Like I always was that kid that wanted to watch all the other kids. I always wanted to babysit and I always like just felt like okay I'm gonna have a lot of kids because I was the only child so I'm like I want a lot of kids so I always felt like that mom bug in me like I can't wait to have kids one day. Uh, let us know what was your initial reaction when you found out you was pregnant. My initial reaction was excitement, mm -hmm. but like anxiety a little bit. Just thinking about being somebody's mom, like, oh my God, like I'm going to be somebody's mom at the end of this. But I was excited to be honest. Um, I was, I was, ex I couldn't believe it. I took six or seven tests. I kept buying tests. Because I couldn't believe I was pregnant. Oh, wow. I was excited. Given the situation, um, even though the situation wasn't the most ideal situation I had for myself, that, you know, like five years before, I wouldn't have saw myself in that situation five years later. Um, I was happy that I was pregnant. I was very happy. I loved my baby. Mm -hmm. like, I still love her. But mm -hmm. I, was, I was happy to get that positive test. Yeah. Wow. I couldn't believe it, though. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Walk me through your normal day as a mom now. Um. Okay, so I'm a work-from-home mom. So I have my baby with me all day. Um. I start work at 8, and he usually wakes up about 9 or 10. And then I'll change his diaper, fix him breakfast, put him in his high chair, let him eat, go back to work. So, like, all day it's kind of back and forth from work mm -hmm. to changing him, feeding him, um, just checking on him, letting him play in his playroom. But, like, I'm one of those, like, hands-on mom all day, nonstop. Wow. I would normally do all my schoolwork and homework while she's at school and then go pick her up from school, come back, give her a bath, cook us. Well, no, normally I cook dinner during the day. Mm. And then, so when she gets home, dinner's already made. And then she just gets in the tub, eats her dinner, and then I take my shower, so we all, I, it's out of the way. As soon as she come home, I throw her in the back because she's been around dirty kids all yes. day. You know, they eat each other boogers and they, <laughs> they drink off each other. They yes. lick toys and then the other <laughs> chick lick the same yes. toy. I clean her quick because I don't be wanting her in my bed like yeah. that. So is it much, was it really much? Because it seemed like you got it all together. Because you was like, oh, I can do this, I do that. Like, you got it together, so. Was it much of a difference from pre-mom to transitioning to motherhood? Oh, yes. A it big, is. A it's a big, big difference. Okay. A big difference. Everything you do is circled around that kid. Mm -hmm. uh, their naps, like their feedings, changing their diapers, everything is around them, what they do uh, when they get sick. It's a big, it's a big adjustment. Dang. Okay, because how you talking is like... You got it together. It's really, but I mean, I'm a year in now. So, mm -hmm. you know, within those first, I would say six months, then you kind of like, okay, well, this needs to be here. I need to do this. Mm -hmm. And I've been working um, with him like since he was born. So like I took my, I took my maternity leave and then once it was up, I was like, okay, I'm going back to work. So I was doing this since he was like, what, four months. Yeah. Wow. Life. life don't stop when you have a child that's a big thing like oh well you know you know it's not the same but life doesn't stop and you can still be free like Eden done been all to she been out of the state like oh. before she was one like life doesn't stop we still have fun Miss traveler you know it's just it's just it's a blessing it's feel like you found a balance yet like 
it seemed like to me, I'm like listening to you. I feel like you have a balance. Like you, you, you got a schedule. You got this and that. I have a balance. I found a balance found in a life. Balance. Okay. Um, but with kids, no matter how old they are, it's you can't follow a specific routine. It's not going to hit every single day. Mm-hmm. Your schedule is not going to go as follows every day. Now, I am one of those planner type people. I'm very structured. I like oh, to do wow. things at a certain time. Mm-hmm. That's just how I am in my everyday life mm-hmm. before the kid. So every day waking up, I have a plan for how today is going to go. Um, and then whatever occurs with him, mm-hmm. then we kind of work around that. Mm-hmm. But I have found a balance. Um, and then whatever curveballs come, I work with it and go from there. But even in your personal life or like just you, your social life, you have to find balance again. Because when I first had him, I didn't go anywhere for months because I was a uh, breastfeeding. I don't know because y'all see you out and about with these cute outfits. It's like see, I was hey, a breast. Come on, mama. I was a breastfeeding nursing mom. Okay. So everybody thing was like. He's not going to take the bottle. He's not going to take the bottle. So mm-hmm. I would just stay home with him. Or if I did go out, I would take him. Oh, so like, wow. yeah, if you saw me out, because my thing was like going to eat out. If you yeah. saw me out, he was there with me. Mm-hmm. But you had you no know, time he, to take your snack. Yes. Okay. So, uh, but I had to find balance because in okay. the beginning, I was just like, everything was with him. So home, I'm with him because I work from home. Mm-hmm. If I go out with friends, I'm with him because everybody's complaining. He's a breastfed baby. Mm-hmm. He's not going to take the bottle. So if I couldn't take him, I wouldn't go. And then he got really spoiled. He mm-hmm. didn't want to like interact with anybody else. And then I kind of felt down because it's like, I want to do something, you know, just by you myself yeah. without the baby. So you have to find that balance, like, even in your personal and your social life. Like, okay, this weekend, he's going to his grandma, or he's staying mm-hmm. with his dad, and I'm just going to go do this for myself. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go out with my friends and have dinner. Or I'm going to go wherever and just not take the baby with me. So lately, like, for the new year, I was like, I want to work on more productivity. <laughs> so I can do, like, I've done so much in one day. Like, I'll do a doctor's appointment, set up a... Uh, build something for my mama because she buys stuff you gotta build like Mm -hmm. you buy a desk you build it you buy Mm -hmm. this you so (laughs) build that for my mama watch like you know a episode from a season of something that i like and meal prep and go to the gym and fighting class at night and then i gotta drop you but i find that if you want to make it work you can make it work Mm. i feel like sometimes parenting can be overwhelming even just with one so i could imagine with more than one mm-hmm. but you have to find a balance mm-hmm. between you enjoying your life and mm-hmm. what you do and your kids because if you don't it's gonna be an imbalance and then you're gonna take out something you're gonna take out something on your kids you're gonna be more mm-hmm. frustrated with them or you're gonna want them to get out your face because you need space so you need to take your space you know you look at the world differently like everything i do uh, whether it's what I eat or how I drive, like everything oh, I do, cautious. yeah, no, yeah. everything I do, I'm thinking about him. Like, and then, like I said, I was one of those nursing moms. So from the beginning, it's like, okay, I have to change my diet. I can't eat this because you're breastfeeding. And, and I didn't. Okay. And you can really, you don't have to be strict on yourself. You can, you know, do what you want. But I was just like, okay, I want him to have these certain things in his diet and he's feeding through me so i got more into like just eating cleaner leaner Mm. and like that's just one of those ways i felt i grew like it's not about me anymore i have to think about him everything i do affects him so like before because i'm a very vocal outspoken person Mm -hmm. so like before i probably would like go off lash Mm -hmm. out about you know something really tiny but Mm -hmm. Now it's like, you have to think about, like, bruh, anything you do, like, think about how that might turn out, mm-hmm. and then, you know, so, yeah, I really feel like having a kid changed my perspective on life a lot. Advice I would give, like, new moms, young moms, mm-hmm. you have to have some type of structure. You can't just, like, a lot of people face life, like, pre-mom, post-mom, they face life like, okay, whatever happens today, that's what happens. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know what today gonna hold. Let's just roll with it. And okay. when you have kids, kind of going into the yeah, line. Okay. yeah. When you have kids, even if it's just one, 
you have to have some type of plan. You have to have some type of idea of like what each day is going to hold even to the point of like, okay, um, like this is what I want to do with myself because that kid is dependent on you. Mm -hmm. You know, they're in the blind, they're following you blindly. So you have to have some type of plan every day that you wake up. Like, okay, this, this at 12 o'clock, I'm going to do this at one o'clock. I'm going to do that. Now, of course, Life doesn't work like that. It's not going to always fall into place. But if you are one of those people that just wake up and it's like, whatever, your house going to run off, your life going to run off, you know, the kids going to get away from yeah. you. Yeah, it's going to be like total chaos. And, you know, you can't raise kids in chaos because they piggyback off whatever they see. The big determining factor for how successful or how much, how, you know, detrimental it could be is based off of the partner. It's you, but also the partner that you choose. Because the wrong man or the wrong woman, for men too, single men looking for love, if they're like constantly not trying to be involved with your child, doesn't understand the responsibilities that you have as a parent, that will be a conflict of interest. You want someone that's going to be your stress reliever, your safe haven, your safe place, not more stress added to the table. Mm -hmm. Helping and it being a hindrance, then personally, I think, find better because bye-bye mm -hmm. because yeah, <laughs> there's more. I, think I do, and I do this all throughout the day. Um, I write notes. I write sticky notes. And it doesn't matter what time I'm going to do it, but I write out everything I feel I need to have done every single day so monday i write a sticky note scratch out whatever i don't finish on monday i add it on to my sticky note for tuesday just start off small with like stickies set reminders on your phone um that's something that's really minor but it definitely helps a lot and another thing that i feel really would help is if you clean up every day like, I know a lot of people are like, okay, I wash on Friday. Yeah. I wash dishes on Wednesday. I'm I, like, I'm, I'm I, I, I clean like, up man. on Saturdays. Okay. Like, just try doing minor things every day. Folding clothes every day. Washing dishes every day. Like, those things really matter. Because on the weekend, it's like, okay, I don't have to rush and kind of... And like I say... Make up for this, what I meant. Okay. Yeah, and things happen. Mm -hmm. So... Don't save it for the weekend and then something happens. You got to go sit in the emergency room with the kid because that's real life. Mm -hmm. If you save everything for that one day and then something happens, now your life is back to mm -hmm. chaos, back chaotic. And it's so easy as a mom because you're taking care of yourself and somebody else to just kind of fall into like a slump or depression or anxiety. So try to check your boxes off every day. Like, do those little minor things every day. Make your stickies, set your reminders, and it really helps. The moment of being a mom. The most rewarding moment. Hey, people act like everything's just so perfect. Like, yeah. oh, we got the value together. Yeah, you know, you got the like, stroller. Yeah. 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 With the Joneses, no. Like, I have broken down and cried, you know, mm -hmm. going through stuff and eating took some tissue for me um and wiped my face and you know it's gonna be all right mama and, and she's two y'all she's two years old she, wow this little human being can give me a hug and comfort yeah. me yeah and and make me feel better mm -hmm. it's like that's special